We're going to work on an Alex problem that deals with determining the strength of acids from a sketch. We have the acid dissociation reaction, which shows HA, or acid, dissolving in H2O to yield H3O plus and A minus. If HA is a strong acid, then this equilibrium will go in the forward direction, which means that HA completely dissociates into H3O plus and A minus. If HA is a weak acid, then that means that HA dissociates only a little bit into H3O plus and A minus, but it will mostly exist as HA in our solution. Since we're going to have to look at a sketch, I've included a legend. Two atoms represent our acid HA, three atoms represent H2O, four atoms represent H3O plus, and one atom represents A minus. And the color really doesn't matter in these examples. We're also going to relate this to the equilibrium constant expression for Ka. Remember that Ka equals to the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of A minus over the concentration of HA. So if this is a strong acid, we will have a lot more of H3O plus and A minus, which means that the numerator would be a larger number, and that would give us a larger Ka value. If this is a weaker acid, then we would have a lot more of HA, which makes the denominator a larger number. And if the denominator is a larger number, we would have a smaller Ka value. So strong acids have large Ka values, Weak acids have uh, smaller Ka values. Let's take a look at an example. In this example, we have four solutions of an acid dissolving in water, and we're supposed to rank these solutions, uh, one being the strongest acid and four being the weakest acid. So I'd like to start off with my Ka expression. And I'm going to try to relate what the sketch to this Ka value. Now, I know that the Ka is all about the concentrations of these uh, molecules. However, I don't have concentration, so I'm going to try to work with what I can see from the sketch. So we're going to just do some rough math and give ourselves an estimate. So let's do the first solution. I'm going to count up all my H3O pluses. H3O pluses are the ones that have four atoms. So I see one. A minus is the one that has only one atom. I see one. And my HA is going to be the one that has two atoms. So one, two, three. So this gives me a value of 0.33. Okay, let's do that again for our second solution. I want to look for all my H3O pluses. So I see 1, 2, 3, 4. My A minus 1, 2, three, four. My HA, I see only one. And for my third solution, I'm going to count up all my H3O plus. One, two, three. A minus one, two, three, and HA, one, two, three, four. And the same for my fourth solution. H3O plus, I see one, two, three, four. And for my A minus, I see one, two, 
three, four. And HA, I see one, two, three. Okay, so let's start ranking these. The larger the Ka value, the stronger the acid. So that makes solution one, a uh, solution two as number one, and then a solution four as number two, then solution three as number three, and solution one as number four. Let's see another example. Again, we have four solutions of acid dissolving in water, and we're supposed to rank these solutions, one being the strongest acid and four being the weakest acid. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a Ka expression, just to remind me what I'm comparing. And let's do solution one. H3O plus are the ones that have four atoms, so there's one, two, three, four. And A minus is the ones that have only one atom. One, two, three, four. And HA is the one that has only two atoms. One. And let's do the same for the second solution. H3O plus, I see only one. A minus, I only see one. HA, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, third solution, one, A minus one, and HA, one, two, three. And fourth solution, H3O plus one, two, A minus one, two, and HA, I don't see any, so that's gonna be zero. All right, so let's compare these values. Now mathematically for solution four, you're not allowed to have a zero in the denominator. So this just means that there's all of the HA dissociates, so there isn't any HA left in solution. So that is the definition of strong acids. So our fourth solution gets the rank number one. The second highest would be solution one, so we would get that as a two. And our third one would be solution three. And our fourth one would be solution two. So you want to remember that the larger the Ka value, the stronger the acid. The smaller the Ka value, the weaker the acid. Good luck and keep practicing.